Edvotech instructional videos, pouring auger plates. For this experiment, you will need sterile petri plates, sterile pipettes, and a pipette pump, Edvotech's ready pour auger, and media supplements. Step one. Break the solid ready-pour auger medium into small chunks by squeezing and shaking the plastic bottle. One large bottle of ready-pour will make five large LB source plates and 40 small plates. Step 2. Loosen but do not remove the cap on the ready-pour bottle. This allows the steam to vent during heating. Step 3. Microwave the ready-pour auger on high for 30 to 60 seconds to start the melting process. Carefully remove the bottle from the microwave and mix by swirling. Continue to heat the solution in 20 to 30 second intervals until the auger is completely dissolved. Keep a close eye on the medium to prevent it from boiling over. Step 4. Cool the ready pour medium to 60 degrees Celsius with careful swirling to promote even dissipation of heat. Step 5. While the medium is cooling, label the petri dishes. Consult your protocol for specific labeling instructions. Step 6. Pour 10 ml of the cooled ready pour medium into each of the five large petri dishes using a sterile 10 ml pipette and pipette pump. Step 7. Using a fresh, sterile 10 ml pipette, pour 5 ml of the medium into small petri plates. These are the control plates. Step 8. Add any media supplements to the remaining ready pour, such as antibiotics, as specified in your protocol. Recap and swirl the bottle to mix. Only add reagents to the cooled medium. Step 9. Using a fresh pipette, pour 5 ml of the medium into labeled petri plates. Step 10. Wait at least 20 minutes for the LB auger to solidify. For optimal results, leave the plates at room temperature overnight. If the plates need to be stored, they should be inverted and placed in a sealable plastic bag to ensure that they don't dry out. The plates should not be stored at room temperature for more than two days. <laughs>